So Chris Brown's ex-girlfriend, Karuchi Tran, Karuche, whatever, however you say her name, she's filed for a restraining order against him. She claims he stalked her, threatened her, punched her in the stomach. Now, first of all, I should say these are allegations. We don't know if they're true or not, but Chris Brown has a documented history of domestic violence towards women as well as erratic behavior in general. Now, Chris Brown, he was he he was first signed to a major record label around his mid-teens, probably around 15, 14, 15, 16, around that age range. His first single was Run It. It came out in 2005, produced by Scott Storch, featuring Joel Santana from Dip, Ste Dip Set or Diplomats. And that was from his first album, which was called Chris Brown. In 2007, he released his second studio album called Exclusive with hit with uh, hit singles like Kiss Kiss, With You, and Forever. And he's also, he has also done songs with Jordan Sparks, uh, Bow Wow, Lil Mama, and T-Pain. Now, when first when Chris Brown first came out in the 2000s, he used to have a nice guy image. He was singing love songs and so on. I remember, I remember seeing him, him in an interview. Um, not, I would have to probably look up and see if I could find this interview. But it may have been BT. But I remember a vi uh, interview of him, and he said his mother was a victim of domestic violence, so he would never beat a woman. And this, this was before he got in trouble with. For the domestic violence stuff with Rihanna. Now, I looked up on Wikipedia. It says that his dad, Clinton Brown, was a correctional officer. Now, um, I don't know when he said his mother was a victim of domestic violence. I don't know if he was talking about his biological father, or talking about some stepfather, or some one of his mother's boyfriends, or something. I don't know, but. Um, he said his father, his biological father, Clinton Brown, was a jail guard. And um, now the thing is, I've noticed a lot of jail guards, real cops, renter cops, whatever, are sadistic and violent people. Now, I personally, I don't really deal with them. Like, I don't deal with cops or renter cops because I don't have to. So, you know, there's really no reason for me to interact with with law enforcement unless they're arresting me other than that I just don't fuck with them period cuz I don't there's no benefit to me okay but a lot of these people you know if they if they treat regular people like shit on a regular basis when they encounter people imagine how they treat their families you know I suspect a lot of these cops fuck up their kids their kids are fucked up because they, you know, they're just assholes, sadistic pieces of shit assholes. But anyway, um, Chris Brown, um, he, he was a talent, he is a talented young person, young man. Uh, he can sing, he dances, and so on. Um, he had a bunch of hit songs, he was, you know, commercially successful, and he started and then he started dating uh, Rihanna, Barbadian born singer Rihanna, okay? In 2009, he got arrested for beating the fuck out of her. He beat, like, you know, you can see the photos, her face is all bruised up. Um, yeah, yeah so, um, and a lot of people turned on him at that time when he, when the domestic, when, you know, the thing about him beating up Rihanna came out. And,. And you have to remember that before that, before the Rihanna incident, he had this clean image. Um, you know, like I said, he he was he had the image of a nice guy or whatever, love lover boy, whatever, um, teen hot heart throb and all that type of stuff. So, but then after the Rihanna incident, he came back again and he kind of reinvented himself. But now he had this bad boy image um now the images of a lot of these a lot of artists a lot of these artists on major record labels especially if they're young they're kind of manufactured and fabricated to sell records 
Um, but it was funny that how the way uh, Chris Brown's whole image suddenly changed after he got those the assault charges uh, with Rihanna. All of a sudden, this guy is a gang banging bad boy after he beats after he gets arrested for beating up Rihanna. So after Rihanna, um, he started dating Karuache uh, Tran, who's a model. Her mother is Vietnamese, her dad is Jamaican, so I guess she's half black, half Asian. And, um, I mean, I, you know, she's pretty, but I wouldn't say she's the best looking girl in the world. She, I don't know. But, anyway, so he broke up with her. And now she has this restraining order against him, accusing him of threatening her, beating her, stalking her, etc. Now, basically, this Chris Brown guy has problems. He's rich, and he has a herd of groupy bitches to choose from. Okay, he could he could he could pay for pussy. You pay for girls to have sex with him if you wanted, right? But but instead, he's running around allegedly. Well, we know he beat up Rihanna, now, and he's allegedly threatening and beating and. Uh, stalking Karuache, Karuchi Tra Tran as well, his ex-girlfriend, which doesn't make sense when he could have so many other women. And then there was another case, um, in another incident where he had something, some problem with a woman at his house, accused him of beating her or something, I don't know. But I don't, I don't understand what's wrong with this guy. See, the way I look like, the way I look at it, I'm not beating a woman because it's not worth the trouble. I'm not chasing a woman either. I'll replace her. I could get, if I don't get a woman, this woman today, I, I can get a better looking one tomorrow. That's the way I look at it. And I don't have a fraction, I don't have a fraction of the money or the bitches, uh, groupy bitches that Chris Brown has. So something is wrong with this guy because he has all this money, all these bitches that he could have sex with and he's still chasing after this one Karuchi Tran who isn't, she's not even the most attractive woman in the world. She's, she's okay, she's cute, but she's not, she's not the most attractive, in my opinion, she's not the most attractive woman in the world. And, and even, if, even women who are good looking, you can find a hundred women. You can find a thousand women who look, who have a similar look to them. So I don't know why he's chasing after this one woman, this one girl. Like how, I mean, like I said, there's a lot of women who are good looking, who have good pussies, like, I don't know. So something, like I said, something's wrong with this guy. Um, he keeps getting in trouble for bullshit. I think he's on drugs. I think he has problems. So. Like I said, something's wrong with this Chris Brown guy. Something's wrong with him.